This is Gabe Salazar. He's 37 years old and he's tall with brown hair and brown eyes. Gabe is American, but his parents and grandparents aren't. They're from Turkey. A lot of Gabe's uncles, aunts and cousins still live there. But Gabe lives in Los Angeles, California, with his wife and children. Gabe's wife is called Nancy. She's also 37. She isn't very tall and she has long brown hair and brown eyes. She isn't from LA. She's from San Antonio, Texas. A lot of her uncles, aunts and cousins still live there. Gabe and Nancy have got four children. David, Gabe Jr, Michelle and Susie. The Salazar family are all hard-working and they usually do the housework together. At the moment, they're cooking the dinner in the kitchen. But they don't stay inside for long. It's summer in LA and the weather is warm and sunny. At this time of year, the family cook their food on the barbecue and they set the table outside. They share their food and they talk about their day. They're all very friendly, so they chat a lot. The children are nice and polite, but they are also very talkative. David and Michelle are almost the same age. So they aren't just brother and sister, they're friends too. The Salazar family spend a lot of time together. On Saturdays, Gabe and David go to the beach because David loves surfing. Susie and Michelle don't like surfing and Gabe Jr. is very young so he's frightened of the water. But David surfs all the time and he's very good at it. Los Angeles is famous for its long sandy beaches so there are lots of places to surf. Today David has a new surfboard and he's very excited about it. But Gabe doesn't get into the water. He sits on the beach and watches David practice. It's a great way to spend time with his son. The Salazars are a typical American family and they really enjoy the time they spend together. The University of Cambridge is famous all over the world. It's over 800 years old and shares a lot of things with the University of Oxford, the UK's other ancient university. Today, Cambridge has 18,000 students, 9,000 staff and 31 colleges. Many of these colleges are very old and students here do all kinds of subjects like English, maths, history and science. Pembroke College is over 650 years old. The building isn't as old as that but it's still in the same location. Today, there are around 500 students here. 
King's College is around 550 years old and is one of the university's most famous colleges. For many people, its chapel is a symbol of the university. Trinity College is around 475 years old. It has around 600 undergraduates, 300 graduates and 180 fellows. A fellow is a teacher at the university. Students don't have to live in these colleges, but they often do. In the colleges, students' rooms are near the classrooms, so students don't have to get up early. They can just get dressed, eat breakfast and go straight to their lecture. It's very convenient. They enjoy the many traditions too. In some colleges, students have to wear long black gowns when they have dinner and they sometimes have to wear them during exams too. Another famous Cambridge tradition is punting. Behind Trinity College and King's College is the River Cam and tourists often go punting here. They push a long flat boat, a punt, with a large stick along a part of the river called the Backs. There are fantastic views of a lot of the colleges here. All of these colleges are different, but together they all make up the university. The University of Cambridge has a fantastic reputation. It's one of the top universities in the UK and people come from all over the world to study here. Past Cambridge students include Prince Charles, the actor Ian McKellen, and the scientists Francis Crick and James Watson, the discoverers of DNA. Cambridge is a great place to study and it's a fantastic place to live. Teenagers spend their money on all kinds of things like food, computer games and clothes. But this isn't easy because teenagers want fashionable clothes that are expensive. However, most teenagers don't have a lot of money. This is a shop called Trade in North London. The customers here today are shopping for clothes and accessories. But this shop doesn't sell new clothes. These clothes are second-hand. Teenagers don't usually buy second-hand clothes because they are often old and boring. But Trade sells its own brand of clothing called Trade Remade. These trousers, shirts, skirts, jackets, and shoes are different to normal old clothes. They're stylish and individual. This is Zoe. She works for trade, but she isn't working in the shop. She's working 90 kilometers away in a studio in Brighton. My name is Zoe. I make clothes for Trade Remade and I live in Brighton. She makes new clothes from second-hand clothes. She's young and she knows what teenagers like. So she turns old, unfashionable clothes into stylish new outfits. 
This smart shirt is now a dress. And this man's formal shirt is now a new blouse. Zoe makes all kinds of clothes and they're always interesting. We make skirts and dresses and shirts and for the winter we also make jumpers and sweatshirts. Today Zoe is making some blue skirts from some old fabric. She's sewing the fabric together to create a short skirt. She really enjoys this part of her job and she often makes five new items of clothing every day. I like that I can spend all day sewing. For young people, new clothes are often expensive and old clothes are unfashionable. But trade offers new styles that aren't very expensive. So teenagers can look stylish and they don't need to spend much money.